today I'm going to talk about shorts and this was a requested video on my form spring um, which is basically if you don't know it's kind of like a social networking site where you can ask me anonymous questions so it's just formspring.me forward slash Anna Saccone I'll put the link down there in the description box but um, I'm going to be talking about shorts and different styles that suit different body shapes and um, which ones work which ones don't so we're going to be talking about everything from short shorts like these to city shorts which are like this so the longer ones um, then also hot pants and stuff like that and also high-waisted shorts so I'm going to talk you through I'm going to try some of these on I'm going to show you um, which ones are which, what the different styles are, and which ones suit which body shapes. Okay, so these are shorts number one. These are city shorts. So they come just above the knee, like that. And these ones are from Sizzly, and they're in like a hen's tooth um, pattern. And these are wool, so they're kind of scratchy on bare legs, but I like them, I think they're really chic. And city shorts are good for you know a more formal more professional look and I really like these have got one little button like a little pop, pocket at the back and just ignore like what I'm wearing with them because it isn't really ideal because it's like way too long um, I would definitely pair like a short um, top with this but these are like I said more professional more suitable for the office and something like that than your regular like short shorts for the beach and the only thing about these is that they cut your leg like completely in half so it's not good if you have short legs or if you are pear shaped so you have bigger like a bigger up um if you have like a bigger lower body so if you're self-conscious in any way about your legs or your thighs um i would probably stay away from these but having said that if you have thinner legs or if you're like an apple shape this is definitely going to work on you this style um, and I think it looks really nice as well um, if I were wearing this like I said I wouldn't pair it with a long top because a long top is going to make your legs look a bit shorter because it makes your torso look longer so just like I said before pair it with the shorter one and you'll be fine okay, so these again are more professional looking they're not the shortest of shorts but they're still you know they cut you mid thigh so they're still shorter than the city ones um, these have really really large like cuffs like turned up ends on them and they're a little bit puffy as well which I actually like um, you can see it's got this tailor in here so it makes it a little bit puffy but the thing I really love about these is that they actually make your legs look thinner, like they make them look slimmer because of these cuffs. And you'll find that the larger the cuff or the turned up end, the slimmer your legs appear. So, I mean, I don't have the skinniest legs, so I'm always trying to make them look slimmer. And I definitely think this type of short does work. Um, so this would be perfect for a pear shape, an hourglass shape, um, a fuller figure and again if you're self-conscious about your legs in any way just wear tights um, because this will work like tights will work particularly well with these wool shorts because they're a bit more professional again this isn't exactly what I would pair with it but I really really like these and I think these are actually my favorite these are from The Gap so these are more casual shorts and these ones are from Zara and they are blue and white striped and then they've got some gold like little buttons here and i actually really like these these are shorter than the ones i just showed you but again they have the rolled up ends so again that's flattering for you if you have like bigger thighs um and these are good for the beach as well because obviously they're more casual than the last ones I showed and they're just a little bit shorter but remember that there's all different lengths of shorts so you don't have to go this short if you don't want to or you can go shorter if you are more daring or you prefer that that kind of style so I definitely like these for the beach they're perfect to wear with like a tank top or something like that or a t-shirt and I think they're really cute okay so this is the high-waisted short and these are from H&M 
again, just completely disregard the rest of the outfit because um, that's not really what it's about. And I know it's done horribly, but this is just what I was wearing today, the top part. Um, so these are from H&M and as you can tell, they've got a high waist. And these are really, really good if you have short legs because it's going to elongate your legs. Um, the appearance of the high waist just gives you a really elongated lower body. The only thing about this is I would avoid it if you have um, big, really big hips because of the pockets. So you can probably see it's got like pretty voluminous pockets. And that makes me feel like these would look better on somebody who didn't have very big hips because they create the illusion of hips and the illusion of curves. So maybe if you are boy shaped, these would look really good on you, especially if you're petite. So you have, you know, you're a little bit shorter and you want to create the illusion of being taller. So they're perfect for that. I would avoid high waisted anything if you're apple shaped. Just on principle, it makes your tummy look bigger and you just don't want that. So yeah. Okay, so there are all the styles I'm going to show you on. The last style is the hot pants. And hot pants are something that you should really only wear if you have um, like no hang ups at all about your legs or if you have like really skinny legs. Uh, so somebody like a boyish shape, an apple shape, something like that. If you're a pear shape, even hourglass shape, depending on like how you feel about your legs, I would avoid them. But that's just me personally. I don't own any hot pants because I know how terrible they make my legs look and they just make my thighs look huge. Because they ride up, um, in case you don't know, hot pants are ones that are really short, like super short, and they would actually ride up a little bit at the back. They just don't flatter my legs at all. I'm, I don't have those skinny model legs and um, I don't have particularly long legs either so they just don't look good at, on me at all and if you have any bit of cellulite which I do then I would stay away from hot pants but definitely rock them if you have the legs to pull them off definitely so those are the shorts the different styles and I hope that was helpful the other thing I wanted to mention was um, in terms of looking appropriate or you know wearing them well. I would just suggest if you're at the beach, wearing shorts, it's like, it's a staple. Everybody, almost everybody wears shorts at the beach. So, or like a short skirt or a dress. So by all means, just wear them like either with your bathing suit or with a tank top. That's fine for the beach. But for every day, like walking around or definitely for work, I would stick with the city shorts just because they're more professional looking or with the second pair that I, that I wore, the wool ones, um, and maybe pair them up with tights. Otherwise, if you want to wear shorts just for your everyday life, the way that I think they look best is if you are wearing the shorter ones just to wear something with long sleeves on top, or you don't even have to like completely cover up on top, I just think that it looks better if you show if you're showing skin on bottom, not to show it on top, but that's just me personally. So I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are on how to wear shorts and if this video helps. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.